Hey Pops, Pup Copper here. Uh, yeah, welcome back. I know it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video. Uh, yeah, work has finally become not crazy, so I have more time to do stuff. Uh, yeah, so, I, I, I've been, you know, when I have had free times over the last, I don't know, a couple weeks, I've, I've just been casually playing SimCity 2013. Uh, how do I put this? I grew up with SimCity. I, I, I cut my teeth on the original SimCity. I spent so much time in SimCity 2000, then SimCity 3, and then I, I played SimCity 4 for years. And, and then SimCity 2013 came out. It's a game I wanted to like, but it just... No. So... Yeah, I I consider City Skylines to be the better city builder, but SimCity 2013 and by extension the Cities of Tomorrow expansion, which you can see I have here, are they have their their pluses, but they've got a lot of negatives going for them, and just how Electronic Arts handled the whole game and just everything they did with it, it just really soured me on. SimCity, honestly, and I I doubt there's going to be another SimCity. I'd like to be proven wrong, but I sincerely doubt it. But I figure, you know, even if this doesn't become... I just hit my mic, sorry about that. Uh, even if this doesn't become like a recurring video thing, I, I figure, you know, spending a little time in SimCity wouldn't be bad. You know, and if you guys like the... what I'm doing here... And want to see more of it just you know leave some comments down below let me know what you guys like don't like you know if you think SimCity 2013 is total garbage and you tell me never never ever to do another video on it again that's fine but yeah uh, and and hey while you're at it if you like the video leave a like and if you are not subscribed then maybe boop that subscribe button May Maybe I get you some videos. <laughs> so I'll take you into this region that I have here. I'll just go through this this thing. So here I'm playing the Isla Isla Par or not Isla Paradiso. Oh, I can't remember the uh, Reflection Atoll. That's the that's the region name. Uh, this was one of the regions that either came with Cities Tomorrow or was released in a post expansion update thing. So, I've got a couple of uh, cities going already. I've got one that's pretty well populated and got a lot of money. One that's not as populated and it's got a bit of money. So, I figure, you know, we'll get into the region here and, and we'll just have some fun. So, sandbox mode is on, so we'll have access to cheats and we'll have access to a lot of starting cash and everything will be, will be unlocked. So yeah, we can do some stuff. Um, let's go to Summit Vista first, and then we'll hop to another city once another city tile once we can see the map. Now, SimCity or SimCity 2013 works a lot different from from uh, City Skylines. City Skylines, you get a gigantic map with you know without and if you're playing without mods, you get to unlock nine tiles, which I think are essentially the size of a single city tile here. In SimCity 2013, but here you you get this this plot to build one city on, and then it's part of a region which is several other plots that have their own unique geography and characteristics. But you can't really do any any terraforming or anything beyond kind of what your roads and zoning will do automatically. So, uh, yeah, there are problems, and thankfully City Skylines learned from it. And, yeah, we have a better city builder because of that. So, let's see. What's over there? We've got some coal. This is nice. You do get to see see these these uh, indicators here. I, I can't. Uh, I can't even see what the name of this one is. Uh, uh, so, this one has a bunch of coal, wind, and water. Okay. Oh. Okay, so there's Grand Haven, which has more wind and water. Uh, 
This has raw ore. That could be fun. Big industrial city. Uh, this one just has water and wind. I don't really have any grand plans for this region, other than just kind of using this as a fun little playground since the land here is pretty flat. Uh, this one's more of an oil city here. This is kind of going to be my Omega City. Uh, uh, it's kind of the gimmick of C Cities of Tomorrow, where you have the the good, the good, the academy that gets you all like the clean technologies and stuff like that, and then you have Omega Co, which is just polluting, unbridled capitalism. And so, the thing about Omega is that it earns you a ton of money. So, yeah, that's why I want that here, and yeah. So, I'm thinking, let's do some coal. Let, let's, let's do coal. That will be fun. Or, actually, no. No, no, no. I, where's that? There's the ore city. I want to claim this, so. All right, Ingot Landing. All right, there's the region highway. Okay. Now we can see our other city over there. Um, really quickly. Now it's just gonna because I have everything unlocked because of sandbox mode. It's just gonna keep flashing stuff up there, so you can just kind of ignore that. Uh, what we're gonna do first? I want to see where the since I've never played this region before. I want to see where the oil is. Oh wait, that's right. This one doesn't have any oil. Where's the co okay? Wow. Okay. So right off the bat, I'm thinking that up here, this is going to be kind of our primary industrial area and mining center. And down here is going to be like where we have a lot of our commercial and residential, you know, especially towards the coast here. This would be kind of really cute little residential down here. So, and let's see, where's, where's the water reserve? So, wow, okay, yeah, so it has... A bunch of water up here, a bunch of water up here, but since all the ore is over here, we're going to be putting our industry up here. We don't want to put water up here unless we put it up on these high ledges. But, yeah. Um, let's see. I want to see where wind is. It's blowing this direction. Oh, oh my. Well, that's going to be interesting. Because I think we're going to be dumping pollution on Summit Vista. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be fun. All right. Well, let's let's get started here. First thing we need to do is just build build a road. Yeah. Okay. This. Hmm. This. This is kind of a mangled intersection. <laughs> I, I, I. You could tell I'm better at doing stuff in City Skylines than I am here. <laughs> so yeah. I think for right now, we're going to just have this meander around. And let's see, I want this to be medium density. Actually, let's make this medium density. I mean, the road actually size actually matters. Unlike in city skylines, you actually do need high road density to get high density buildings. It's going to be a little frustrating. Stick some smaller homes up through here. There we go. And this gives us room to have an additional outlet. And 
and yeah, we'll we'll figure out what our final road plan will look like later. For now, let's turn back on the ore layer. Oh, golly, 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 golly. All right, so let's take this. And I'm just going to go ahead and, because I can, I'm just going to do that. And what we'll do is we'll just run this. Well, not like that. There we go. There we go, we got some stuff there. Boy, that's not gonna be much sewage treatment at all. There we go, we'll just do that. All right, now we're going to go back to our ore map here. Let's see. I'm going to put a high-density street through here. Get two megawatts available in the region. Great. All righty. So we have... We'll go to the specialization tab here. We'll grab... Uh, no, I want ore. No, don't want a coal mine. There we go. I will do that. Mm, do I want to go ahead and build a smelting factory? Eh. I tell you what, I don't want to do that just yet. What I do want to do is build raw or storage. That way we can start making some money. And we'll just add an extra truck. And, and we'll export it. Okay. Alright. Great, great, great. And let's see here. Now... Let's see. Ooh, that, no, no. So what I want to do here is just have that come up through there. Um, how do I want to do this? I have wind, so I could do something with wind, but I think initially we're just going to buy ourselves some time by buying power from the region. Because some of this stuff 
has a nuclear power plant. Okay, let's do this. A little wonky looking. Yeah, there's a worker shortage, I know. The region just really doesn't have enough workers. Oh yeah, there's a huge industrial demand from the region. We'll bleed money for a little bit until we get a bunch of people moving in. So let's... See what, we'll... We'll, uh... Actually, we'll just do this. You can tell I'm not really following the grid all that much. We got some little houses there. Great, we got a little park there. Driving to a poorly paying city job. Wow. Alright, let's see. How are we doing here? So let's look at our statistics. Wow, we have 300 available jobs. That's impressive. And we really need our commercial to grow up. Which it looks like it's starting to happen. this guy saying oh they want us to build a uh, uh, I'll ask later they want us to build one of the elite towers that has like a ton of people in it which to be fair wouldn't be a bad idea at a later point but yeah not right now here I have an idea uh, we'll just have this come on Wow, that was a little weird. Well, at least it restored the land, sort of.
I'm just trying to get this road just right. There we go. These will be hoity-toity people living up near the this little forest. Up near the interstate there. And we'll add like a high-density park or something. We got some stuff moving in. And hopefully that land value will be high enough that we'll get some like really rich people. Wow, we have exploded. <laughs> I'm just trying to set up the street grid so that it's not overwhelmed by uh, by traffic at a later point. And of course, you know, we're, some of this will be subject to change. And probably more experienced players of the game will probably say that. I'm not setting up my zoning right, and you may be right. <laughs> but, you know. I just realized that, that I put in the wrong, like, Wealth level park. I meant to put in like a plaza. There we go. So let's check the wealth level. Okay, that all is going to be like really high wealth. I think, maybe. Hey, we're making some money down here. Sweet. It just we just had to burn a bunch of cash. People like that. All right, what are these people want? They want a church. I, mm, yeah, I have nothing against it. So we'll just go over here to our specialization menu. We'll go to culture, 
worship. Uh, what do we want here? Um. Hmm. How about we have this little, like cute little temple thing going in a city where we're just like polluting the ground? Maybe they can pray that they won't get sick or something. Okay, 1.5 tons per day. I could build that. Or I could build that, which moves slower, but... There we go. That, that's probably far enough. Uh, I'll speed it up a little bit. Whoa, wow! Wow, that's... That is happening. Ooh, my land value. Okay, so it just kind of peters out. Okay. <laughs> we just want to send all the criminals into space. Actually, let's take, check some of our data views here. Wow. I mean, this is one of the th I mean, City Skylines has some good, good data layers, but this, this is great. It's a, I know it's kind of a, you can only do this because of how SimCity handles the underlying simulation, but man, this is, I mean, the data you can see. You know, it's just such a shame that they crippled the game as much as they did. Yeah, it's frustrating. It's really, really frustrating. Also, I wonder why this residential right here isn't developing. Yeah. Yeah, this shouldn't have any trouble. There's plenty of room. Maybe it's just because, you know, there's plenty of demand. Oh, that's good to see that we don't have any, like, unsold goods. And let's see, we've got, well, we've got more freight orders than what we know to do with. Which is fine. We just zone some additional industry. Eh, I'll ask later because right now I've got a city that that's doing Omega. All right, 16 tons a day. We're we're producing a ton of stuff. How about we put, like, a volleyball court over here? I want this to kind of be, like, a nice area. Alright, let's see. Okay, people like that. That's good. Let's see, three, I have 300 students, so that's good. Um, since we're wanting this to be in a primarily industrial city, I think it's not a bad idea to put a, a community college over here. I just hope I did that so that I can move that street through. Well, it's just, well, crap, well. Eh, we'll just leave it right there. We, we'll expand that later. And I'm thinking maybe, maybe while we're at it, we just want to add a regular school. Mm.
All right, there we go. All right, we, we did stuff there. And it looks like we already need a classroom expansion. This is another thing that I like about City Skylines more than SimCity. In SimCity, you really have to pay attention to the wealth mechanics that, you know, high wealth and medium wealth Sims won't lo work low wealth jobs, and you end up, ha you know, by popping city services into the city, you end up bringing up your land value so you r have a glut of low wealth people. I mean, the Mega Towers help alleviate that to a certain degree, but in City Skylines, a Sim is just a Sim is just a Sim. And the the only function land value does is increase density and tax revenue. That that's all it does. Yeah, so that's like some something that I think is problematic in SimCity 2013, and I'm glad City Skylines fixed it. Okay, what does the region want? Oh, yeah, I have the great work. Yeah, th so that's the other thing. There's a region, depending on the size of the region, there could be one or more uh, great work sites, and certain you know a certain number of cities will be connected to it. Uh, in this region, there is only there are seven cities and only one great works. <sighs> so let's see, tourists and education, tourists and freight, power. I mean, power is kind of a non-issue in this game, honestly, which, I mean, yeah, it's just, it, it, I just really think this is not worth the effort of doing. You could do the International Airport. Space Center, I don't think I've ever done the Space Center before. But the, the archaeology is good. Because it just brings in a ridiculous amount of people. But at the same time, it creates so many traffic problems. There's just no... Yeah, that traffic... Uh, I, I, I'm convinced no city builder has figured out really how to handle traffic, unfortunately. Maybe that will change in the near future, I don't know. But yeah. Well, we're, we're getting close to... One to level up. Yeah, and I feel like leveling up buildings in City Skylines is a lot easier. Oh, oh. Shrapnel, ammo, and health pumping. Yeah, we'll ignore Omega. This is what I do. I just click between all the data layers <laughs> constantly. I mean, it is a gorgeous game, and honestly, I, re I really wish the graphics in City Skylines were like were as pretty as this. Because this is just great to stare at, honestly. I mean, for all its faults, the one shining bit I think City Skylines has is that, or not City Skylines, but SimCity has, is that it is just so gorgeous to look at. Uh, City Skylines is nice to look at too, but the buildings just get to be kind of plain and boxy after a while, and it's just, I don't know, you, you I mean, I understand why it is like it is, but at the same time, I just think it could have, uh, you know, we could have been told about a City of Skylines 2, and there could be so much, many better things. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm just gonna try and make... Make another outlet, but... Okay, whatever. But yeah, yeah. I, I hope we do find something out about City Skylines 2, because that would be fantastic. And I think that it, uh, City Skylines on modern computer hardware would be great. I mean, it could definitely do this. It could do, with the right, like, animation budget, it could do this with its hands tied around its back. But, yeah. It is what it is. And, you know, we shouldn't fret about what could have been. Uh, let's... All right, we're we're quickly like bringing some stuff down. We're getting people, meeting wealth people, and we're filling the low wealth jobs pretty quickly. We have a ton of extra deaths. That's interesting. We're getting like we're only like exporting a net of like hundred freight. I, it's very interesting. Great, great. Yeah, we have strong regional demand. For freight. Alright, so let's see. I want to... I think what I'll do is I'll curve, I'll bring this up, curve it around. I'll move this head. There we go. We'll just have that come out there. Have that intersect there. And what I'll do is have that, that. And actually, I'm not going to leave the industry there. I'm going to, or all of it at least. Rather, I'm going to go to my specialization. I'm going to do this. And we're just going to plop a smelting factory. Alright, so we got delivery trucks. Okay. So what's this one? This is a metal furnace. Okay. And that's an alloy furnace. Okay. Okay, now we need to bring in ore, or stuff. <laughs> okay. And also, let's just do this. Do we ever get a weekend? Oh my. Yeah, we need to import coal. Alright, so I think... Actually, no, this is really easy because we're not... We're just going to use... Um, so let's see. We're going to need metal. That. And coal. We're going to need coal. Alright, so manage deliveries. We're going to import coal. And then export the metal and alloy. So how much did that? Wow, that really pumped up our job, our job requirement. Uh, yeah, that's that's fun. All 
All right, great. We're we're making stuff. Now we do have some some coal in the yard. Got a fair number of people there. Oh, wow, that's a lot of sewage. Well, apparently, it cleared itself out. I guess, do I even need the great? Oh, wait. School buses just, just dropped kids off. Oh, wow. 73 students. Okay, we're good. Narcy Jows. Yeah, this, I feel like this... Yeah, the data layers are so much better than, than uh, say, Skylines. But then again, City Skylines give you, gives you good information too, but I feel like to a certain degree, you can just kind of spam services buildings and you'll be fine. I mean, traffic may suffer, but... Alright, so, yeah, wow, we need a lot of people. Yeah, so definitely the Arcology may be the uh, thing to do here. And you know what, since... Well, first let's fix this. Great. So, since we're doing a... Uh, kind of a metal city here anyway, so hold on, let's just check before I do this, because I don't want to do something stupid. No, not oil. Really. Okay, all the ore is just down near the community college. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, but yeah. So let's see here. I want to put in a... We don't have one of these for the region. And I imagine we'll, we may end up with one or more of them. But I want to build a recycling center. Oh, good. We have plenty of room right here. Alright, so alloy. Metal. Plastic. You can do plastic here. Eh. I mean, we're a metal and alloy city. So this is, this is going to be... We're going to deck this thing out and sell our cities to... Services to other cities. just went a little overboard. Alright, so we've got a massive recycling building. Oh wait, I went in the budget screen. Hey, we're making some money off, off, off this, these exports here. Hmm. 
Come on, I want some high-density slums. Alright, so let's look at this. So... The fluid physics are a little weird in this game. A little, I, I, yeah, it's all part of that, that agent thing. Now the next morning we should have a bunch of recyclables pop up. pretty well. And I guess I got a fire somewhere. Okay, little fire trick go. Um, that's bad. Well, at least they put it out. So I want to see this. It springs up tomorrow morning. Education now. Oh, we got a couple of buildings ready to, to have teched up. That's great. Everybody seems happy. Look at the trash view again, so we can. See. Wow! Look at look at that. We got a bunch of recyclables. Nearly 500 cans of recyclables. That's impressive. And of course, we've got some trucks going out to neighbors, so we'll get some stuff too. Yeah, this is it. This is just just a nice little city, kind of mo motoring along, doing its thing. And as these uh, recycling trucks come back, we'll get a bunch of stuff to recycle. Yeah, I've got a few tons of materials. Metal, metal, alloy, plastic. Ah. Uh, well. I guess we'll get to see maybe some trucks come in from the, from the region. I don't know where they are. And I think 
think we need more delivery trucks. Oh boy, it looks like some stuff's gonna start leveling up. Wow, a lot of stuff's ready to level up. So let's see. I mean, this is just cool. It's got, we're getting some high, high density buildings popping up. That. We got some we got some high density stuff going. <sighs> and I think we will have to Build a tower here because we just we just need people. <laughs> we need a ton of people. So I think on that note, pups, I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave it here. And again, if you want to see more of this, uh, just leave a note down in the comments below and click the li uh, pull the like button. And if you aren't already subscribed, boop that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos from me, Pup Copper. Arr!